Hi Gemini and welcome to my channel The Guided Intuitive. Thank you for being here and let's jump in and do a read for the second half of February 2022. Uh, this is going to be you and who, all right? Uh, we're going to pull a card specifically for you at the beginning on how to ignite your love life and then we're going to jump into the read itself, all right? Uh, do keep in mind that we do have a full moon that's happening up in, uh, uh, excuse me, Leo on the 16th. Uh, it's coming out. <laughs> Uh, and basically what this means for you is really to get clear on your values, all right? Um, especially for you right now. You might be focusing on uh, and making the most of your time, uh, you know, being productive. But also uh, some of you might be meditating. Uh, some of you might be focusing on something, a daily habit that you put into play and uh, developing some sort of ritual that you can do every single day. Uh, you're going to know what that is for you. Uh, but this is what is coming through here. So... Um, yeah, this is about uh, really getting clear in your values and what is true for you and being able to kind of uh, weigh those out for you and become a lot more clear about that. All right. So your, your views, uh, your values, your beliefs, uh, your traditions, rituals, and things like that. All right. So this is what's coming now for you. We'll see how this pertains to your read. Um, but let's go ahead and jump in and let's uh, start it. So what is going on for Gemini for the uh, second half of February, 2022? I hope you have a fantastic Valentine's Day. And uh, let's see uh, what is going to ignite your love life, all right? Let's see what wants to come out overall that you need to keep in mind in order to make that happen. What can really ignite your love life? What do you need to know most regarding that now? What do we get here? Ooh, ooh, ooh. There has been an encounter that has transformed you in some way, all right? So, wow, and this is really interesting, guys, because you kind of see like the trees that are all kind of coming up and you see all these butterflies, right? And this is about a, a big transformation, all right? Uh, and you, it's almost as if that you're kind of looking um, from down all the way up, right? So you can kind of see within the trees there. Um, but this is really about some sort of encounter that has taken place that has changed you or will change you. Uh, I think a lot of you have already perhaps met this person, um, but this is about emerging. This is about stretching and this is about moving and transforming that of which you never thought that you would be able to do or could or dreamed of doing. But this is about you. This is, this is about being unbreakable. Okay. Um, this is about you now, maybe before that you were kind of stuck in a little bit more of a cocoon stage, but now, no, I mean, your life force within you is moving you and, 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 and this is, you know, it's like, you're ready to fly. Okay. Now this could be as it pertains to love. Okay. So this is going to be key, but you're ready to fly, right? It's about, there's a, um, there is an unsettling encounter that may be kind of, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Kind of jacked up your emotions a little bit. All right. Uh, and this is saying is that that confusion is now going to lead to greater confidence. Okay. There is a reason for this, okay? So this is, there is, uh, you know, this, um, this, this, this meeting, whatever it is that person you encounter is expanding you, okay? And it, it's expanding you and your outlook on things, like your whole horizons, and your outlook on things, especially in terms of love. So this is what is coming through here. This is beautiful. Uh, and, uh, wow, very, very beautiful. Let's see how this, uh, you know, kind of comes into play for the rest of your read. So what's coming, uh, what does Gemini need to know most? What's coming out for Gemini? Okay. Let's take a look at what we, uh, you need to know most the second half. Okay. Interesting. So we've got the hermit energy that's coming through here. Okay, which is Virgo energy, but I really feel this is going within, really going within and having a deep introspection. All right, so taking that time to do it, right? And what I like about it's a nine card, which means it's coming to fruition. Yeah, you're, you're, you're figuring out why do I feel this anxiety? Like, why am I feeling this way? Um, why and what's keeping me up at night, right? And when then I get the King of Swords, you're like cutting through it. It's like something having to do with the mind. So you're like, you're looking to see, you're very inquisitively 
as to deep it too because it's 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 at that point it's coming to fruition like you know what this is what what's really keeping you up uh and this is anxiety driven right in some sort right and this is about you know really balancing out that talk in the mind and making that shift right so it's it's really key because your mind can heal your body in so many ways right so many ways and sometimes I will tell you, Jim, a really quick little trick. Um, this is a little thing to use that I use sometimes in even in NLP, but uh, and uh, uh, hypnotherapy. But the visualizations are very key. So if you can go into your mind and just close your eyes for a moment and see a dial, a dial that says calm on one side and stress on the other, and being able to turn that dial whenever you'd like as you close your eyes taking deep breaths and turn it towards the calmness, this is going to help you, all right? It's going to really help you. So that visualization, anytime that you feel this, then just, you know, have that visualization because visualizations can help in many ways. It's called, you know, neuroplasticity and uh, it, it, it actually brings forth positive uh, benefits. Uh, studies have shown that is the case. In fact, I take this from... Uh, um, David Hamilton, he's a PhD, who wrote the book about healing your mind, um, your body, your mind has a lot to do with your body. And this is that, that uh, one of the, uh, one of the, I have to credit him in terms of that visualization part, because that's what he talks about. So it's really about, you know, pretend there's a dial in deep in your mind, close your eyes, start taking some deep breaths, and really, uh, you know, change that dial towards the calm. You just need to reset that set point a little bit, okay? And anytime you feel yourself, you're in this, go into your mind, take some deep breaths, um, you know, have some sort of ritual, maybe you need a meditation. I'll put one that I really, really love up here, okay? I'll put it in my description box as well. You'll have a list in my playlist, but the one that I'm look, thinking about is this one. You'll see it up here. Uh, I would recommend that, and that's it's a good 10 minutes, right? It's 10 minutes, and if it's about dedicating that, and it's a good little ritual for yourself. And that's going to put you into that feeling of really good and being, again, in control of your mind. And that's what the King of Swords is, is in control of one's intellect. So you're using this to overcome that. So, you know, kudos to you. And it might have to do in terms, it might be getting in the way in terms of a relationship or situation. But finding out where that anxiety stemmed from is another... Uh, a way of thinking about it and and this is a way of tricking your mind to relax uh, even better so that's what i'm getting let's take a look at what the soul trees have to say for you here uh let's take a look so you're overcoming that which is you know great and yeah, you're being inspired maybe you're being inspired your connection to source whatever that is for you and communication um is very very key there's a new inspiration that you get from this okay anything else yeah, what do we get here? Resilience, being able to overcome with confidence and shine. So you get this inspiration and you become resilient. And just like when you take, do that exercise, the more that you do it, the better the results. It's like it gets stronger and stronger, right? The benefits get better and better. So this is what's really a, a, a quite a, a positive thing. It creates improvement in benefits when you do it even more. And so even if you want to incorporate that uh, every single day, it's really key. But it, it, it helps you develop the resilience uh, to feeling like this. Um, and, and it affects your love life. It does affect your love life too, all right? So let's take a look at what numerology has to say for you, Jim. Let's take a look at what that is, all right? Yeah, persevering. In matters of the heart, not giving up, all right? The green is the heart chakra, okay? So you're persevering in love. Nothing is going to hold you back. You're still moving forward. I love this about you. This is so cool. Uh, what is the love oracle? What do we get in the love oracle? Okay, so that of what you want most, it's persevere, it's going to, you know, lead you to stability in the heart, all right? So whatever it is that you're working on, uh, it's, it's or, you know, person, place, or thing, in terms of love here, I, I really feel that uh, it's going to help you. Yeah, it's going to help you overcome obstacles, challenges, and struggles. It wants you to persevere. Do not give up, okay? Do not give up, right? And it could be that you might be on different pages with you and another person, uh, and uh, this is basically saying that maybe that in the past you weren't seeing eye to eye in the situation, um, but that is what is coming through here. What do the love oracles have to say? What do we have? Uh, yeah, you, this is about taking a leap of faith. Yeah, this is about now things are different, and this is about you need to take a bold, risky move uh, to move a connection forward. 
that's what's coming through here. It's time to be bold. It's not, you know, and you can do, you can do it, Gemini. I mean, you're, you're like, you would be really, really great at doing something like this. It's about stepping out of that, like being very bold. Uh, something that you wouldn't typically do, uh, say something that you wouldn't typically say, express something you wouldn't typically, typically, you know, express. You're going to know what that is for you, but a, a risky, bold move may be required to move this connection forward. Okay. So there you go. Let's take a look at this other person on the other side. All right. So we've got kind of a quick snapshot of you over here. Uh, this other person, death card, they're putting something to an end. Uh, Capricorn energy, uh, King of Pentacles. Uh, this came out. Of course you get two cards. Okay. So I'll, I'll take them both because they both flipped over. Okay. 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 There we go. Okay. So I got the death card and the King of Pentacles. So putting something to an end. Um, uh, and, uh, then I get the two of swords coming to a decision and balancing out the energies based upon that decision. So it could be guys that, you know, I get the death card. So something unexpectedly came to an end, whether you two are together or not. Um, you know, this is for singles, couples, uh, dating, uh, maybe this is the person you have yet to meet on this other side too. Um, but feel free to reverse the message as you see fit because you might resonate with one side more than the other. But I get something surprisingly came to an end, okay, with, you know, perhaps someone who's got uh, a king of pentacles, someone who's got, you know, uh, earth in their chart. Um, and then this is about, you know, making some sort of decision, you know, moving forward. So this person is making a decision and, uh, you know, adapting to the new energy, the new flexibility regarding this. So a lot of air and earth energy that's coming into play. Okay. What do the soul trees have to say? So something came to an end that left them in a little bit of a wobble and then they had to make a new decision in their life. Okay. And what do we get? The sacral chakra. So this is, it has to do with the emotions of their body. So this person really needed to uh, focus in on that, on balancing the emotions of their body. They needed to cut something out uh, that, uh, you know, and, oh, and, and clear out their sacral chakra. Yeah, and it's going to lead into a lot more positivity moving forward uh, in communication. The blues, the throat chakra, and this violet and purple, that is the uh, third eye and the crown chakra. So, um, yeah, it leads them to assurance. So when they, they balance the sacral chakra, their assurance, and they could be using the, the phases of the moon to help guide them. But this is what's coming into play. And you know what this reminds me of? A meditation that I just did that looks just like this. Oh my gosh, you guys! I'll put it up here, and then it might have relevance, uh, you know, uh, you know, to some of you. Okay, so I'm going to put it up there. It's about manifesting. So this person could be manifesting to become more assured in terms of what it is that they're doing. But I'll put it up here. Um, you'll see it up here. Uh, do check it out. It's in my playlist below too. But yeah, it could be that that's what they're doing. That they're using the phases of the moon to connect them to, uh, you know, calm the emotions of the body. But they're having to eliminate and put something to an end. Um, and they had to make a decision to do that. Okay. Uh, and they're focusing on the abundance in their life. Beautiful guys. They're focusing on the abundance and manifesting abundance. And it's funny because this, this meditation is a, a manifesting abundance. Okay, you guys, you can't plan this. Okay, now you really got to check it out. <laughs> All right, and it's even just taking a few minutes to uh, think about that, you know, focusing on what abundance means to you and visualizing that to the vibrational, mu uh, vibrational music attached to it, okay? So uh, definitely attached to it. It's, uh, it's set for that. Um, but yeah, that's what's coming through here. What do the uh, love oracles have to say? Oh, that's interesting. It looks just like this. The cover of it just looks just like it. Uh, interesting. Um, and, uh, what did we get here? Perfect match. Wow. Completion. They feel that you are perhaps the one they feel that there's some sort of completion and that they found a perfect match. All right. What else? Um, and, uh, and moving on to the next. So, you know, it's kind of like, I think for them, they think you got a perfect match, but maybe that you ended something, uh, perhaps, and they are just, they're moving on to the next or they feel like they're having to move on. Now this could be, uh, yeah. It's interesting that I'm getting that. What do I, what do the divine love oracles have to say? Let's take a look. Okay, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take two because they came out. All right. All right. So I get, 
<laughs> twin flame. Some of you might be dealing with the twin flame. Okay. What this talks about is that the connection involves challenges, resistance, and major karmic lessons. So uh, this person is realizing that, right? And this is caution. Someone is hesitant and being careful about how they proceed out of fear of making mistakes. Okay. So it, it could be that uh, maybe that, um, is, uh, maybe you, this person on this side or you, uh, it's, they're, they're cautious. You're both are being cautious about making mistakes in the situation. I, I think you don't want to go back to, uh, uh, you know, a karmic lesson that I think a lot of you have just kind of come through here. Um, there is, uh, I don't know. There's the, that's what's coming through. Let's take a look at more on your side, Gem. Let's get more on your side, okay? More information for Gemini, uh, second two weeks, second half of February 2022. Whew, a lot going on. What do we get here? Four of Swords, get your rest, okay? Get your rest, okay? It's coming through here. Uh, you need it, okay? Uh, not to stress out, you know, and have your rituals that you're doing. Justice, balancing out the scales. You could have Libra in your chart, the other person, or you're just taking on the energy. So get your rest so you can balance out the scales of the situation, okay? And uh, give me one more. What do I get? The chariot card. And then you can move forward and take action. When you're called to do so, you're going to feel it, okay? This is cancer energy. Uh, again, you might have it in your chart. The other person might have it in theirs. But this is about having faith and moving forward and taking action. You've got two major arcanas uh, on the, your side here. But you've got to get the rest so you can use it to your full advantage, okay? So before taking action on this, this is about doing that. What do the uh, love oracles have to say? What do we get? Uh, what do we get? Making amends. Perhaps you're, there's someone that you need to get an apology from, or perhaps you're trying to ask forgiveness from someone. Uh, you, maybe you need to make an apology to someone. Maybe that could be that leap of faith of making that bold move, okay? Um, and yeah, I get making amends coming together. You guys, yeah, do this, especially for Valentine's Day. You know, it's good to have a, a, a calm, you know, a good heart, you know, and just feeling good about your connections, all right? What do the soul trees have to say for you here? What is it? new growth uh new growth yeah new growth has been experienced from this uh in your heart and it created a better foundation for you so new growth is coming into play uh what do the uh angel cards i'm just curious about what this wants to come through new growth coming through this is good new new growth making amends growing um anything else what do we got here Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So it could be that you're really focusing on your finances and you could be focusing a lot on work. So that's what you're doing. You're planting those seeds, right? So you can bring that to a relationship. So it looks like finances and career are center for you uh, at this particular moment. Um, it doesn't mean that you can't make room for love. Um, uh, but let's take a look at this other person on the other side. Any further messages? Second half of February for this uh person on the other side queen of swords could be doing with an air sign okay very perceptive very you know very smart okay ace of pentacles so this person is very being very um uh you know really focused on being very perceptive and focusing on manifestation and prosperity this person's manifesting abundance on this side okay they want to bring forth man they're, they're manifest it could be manifesting you okay as well as abundance in their life they want it all okay yeah, I, I, it's what I'm getting. They want it all. They want the world. They want it all. They want love and they want life. And why not, right? So they could be at a distance from each other. They want to, they want to, to have a successful, um, you know, turnaround uh, with you. Okay, is what I'm feeling here. Anything else? Yeah, they've offered love to you. It looks like maybe you've got a message from them in terms of love. Page of Cups. This is a message from their side offering love. I think you may, maybe you may have not got it. Maybe you haven't, but there is a, uh, there is an expression of love that has happened on this side or will happen. So that's what I'm getting here. What do the soul trees have to say? What do we get? Throat chakra. So we got the sacral chakra and then we got the throat chakra for this person. Communication. They could be communicating that. Okay. Their throat chakra. Blue is the throat chakra. And it's about communicating love. This is, they, they've got love for you. Whether you have, they've mentioned it or not, they truly do. Okay. I'm just letting you know, they definitely do. All right. They see you as a perfect match. Uh, anything else? 
strings, mental mind games and manipulation. And whether that has happened in this relationship or not, what is coming through? And yeah, they're, they're seeing past the rose colored glasses. All right. They're taking them off and seeing the reality of the situation. And I think they see things clearly and better. And this is about them taking the time to get, you know, out of the unkept promises uh, that's what I feel that's kind of happening. Maybe that has happened if you've met this person or come together. Um, but I feel that you're not together right now. I feel that there is distance uh, between you right now. There is a space. There's that, that time out, so to speak. Um, anything from the angel cards coming on their side? What do we get? Heart to heart conversations. Yeah, really need to have this. Really need to have this, guys. This is what's coming through here. Okay, really need to have this. Okay, so that's what I'm getting, guys. Okay, we're going to see what's next. Okay, let's take that deep dive. Uh, I'm going to find out what this person has not told you, what they want most from you, and what will be their next steps. And then we'll go to your side, what you haven't told them, what you want most from them, and uh, messages from both sides. And then we'll do a potential outcome uh, with Oracle advice. So if you want to join me for that deep dive, guys, we're going to take it to that next step. Because it looks like, you know, yes, there's finances and career on your side. And um, this is about clearing things up and, you know, making some sort of amends, but having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation doing so. So let's take a look at what it'd be, what's going to be those next steps and how to best navigate this. Um, you can click the link below uh, in my description box for the extended um link there and uh, guys smash that like button and I look forward to seeing you on the other side. Until next time, namaste.